Oh, well, it's good to be back. In this chest, in this very appropriate Zelda themed chest, I have a 24 karat gold Nintendo Switch. But I wanna tell you why I have this and <laughs> why I decided to make a 24 karat gold Nintendo Switch. Do you remember the gold Wii? I'm not even sure if it's true. I assume it is. I've always assumed that it is. The Queen of England received a gold Wii. It was gold plated, not solid gold. If it was solid gold, you wouldn't be able to play it. That would be like the gold prime energy thing that Logan Paul melted down recently and everyone freaked out because, oh, you're wasting gold. Melts down, you just make something else out of it. In fact, that is the exact same gold that I used to plate this switch. That's not true. It was a gold plated Wii and I thought that was so cool. And in my head, it was one of those things that I was like, when I grow up, I would like to get my hands on that. <laughs> I thought that might be reasonable. I'm not sure where it is now. I assume it's in the tomb with the queen. Obviously, I'm not getting my hands on that, but I can make my own. But I'm not gonna plate a Wii in 2024, not when there is a better console that I've grown to love so much. And I looked online and I didn't see any other gold Nintendo Switches, so I figured, um, I'll do it. I'll make the world's first gold Nintendo Switch. This video is sponsored by Sunday's Nutritious Foods for Dogs. All right, we're here live on the scene. You've had nothing to eat this morning, is this true? You're quite hungry and you're ready for a snack. Is this also true? Riveting words. Okay. How's it sniff? Sundays is fresh food for dogs made easy and they've made dog oh, food yeah. more nutritious no and 36% more affordable. Oh, it smells like, smells like I would eat it. You can. So it contains 90% meat, which yeah, it just tasted like jerky and 10% vegetables and 0% synthetic nutrients. Can I get initial thoughts on the taste profile? Simon would also like play it. Well, I think clearly the dog is a fan. That's a, that's a second serving. Might see noticeable health improvements, including softer fur, if that's even possible. Fresher breath, better poops, and more energy when switching to Sundays. Well, I had a bite, so I look forward to my better poops. Yeah, and the whole thing is that it's healthy. Can I put it in the bowl? It's like I'm feeding a deer at the park, like a wild animal. It's healthy dog food that's easy to serve because even though it's meat, you don't have to refrigerate it. You can just leave it in a bit so it's easy to store. And guess what? If you go to sundaysfordogs.com forward slash beat em ups, you get 50% off your first order. 50%. You could if she burped right there. And she loves it. And now she's happy. Links down below. Say bye, Dollar. No. 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 <laughs> no, it's no more. Okay, you have a bit more, but later. My first step was to ask my friend Bob. He's more crafty than I am, and I thought he might have some kind of idea or lead as to what I could do to play the Switch. So I called him. Oh, Hello. hi, thanks for taking my call. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. What do you want? I want to make a gold Nintendo Switch. Okay. And I mean like a real gold, not like a pissy they have them fake on AliExpress. spray paint. You just get the shell. No, no, no. I mean like a real like 24 karat gold Nintendo Switch. Oh, oh, you want to ball out. Yeah. Okay. So I can just dip my switch into gold? You want to just paint no, it? No, I want, we go to I want Home Depot gold. Right I want now real, I paint. want hot molten gold covered around my switch. Okay, you need to start with metal and you do some sort of electromagnetic thing where it bonds the gold to the metal. It's a whole thing. How do I get a metal shell? I got a guy. I got me I Do you don't have the metal switch shells? I got. I don't have. Switch. I don't have a metal guy. These are awesome. These are by Boxy Pixel. All right. Thanks. Bye. All right. No problem. So this concept of using Boxy Pixel's metal plates and then bonding the gold plating to that made this actually possible. I'm gonna turn the lights down because. I gotta set the mood. Here is my gold Nintendo Switch. So cool. <laughs> Just in case you thought this might've been clickbait, here are two gold plated Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. And they are so heavy. Actually, let me get a weight scale. Okay, I got my Zelda Special Edition Joy-Cons. Both of these together weigh just shy of 100 grams. My gold-plated Joy-Cons weigh... 
262.9 grams. Over twice as heavy. You might have noticed this really cool design on them. It's very Zelda inspired. I honestly think it makes them so much cooler, but that kind of happened by necessity, I think. Boxy Pixel was saying that he'd never gold plated anything before. He learned how to do this for me, which I really appreciate. But some of the gold came out different shading around the Joy-Cons. And by doing this etching all over it, it really hides that. You can notice it a little bit more on the back plate. I did say this was a gold Nintendo Switch, not just gold Joy-Cons. And in here, there's a also very heavy back plate. I'm gonna actually change this out right now and we can weigh a normal back plate when I've done that. But for now, this is... Also 200 pounds of golden metal. You can kind of see that the kickstand is a slightly different color. Again, this back looks so sick. And I can't stress enough that this is actually 24 karat gold plated. All right, let's take a look at how this was made. I actually had no idea what went into gold plating something. I guess in my just most basic bare bones brain way, I was like, they must melt down gold and then dip the metal in it. And then it covers the metal, right? What I'm picturing is almost something more out of Lord of the Rings. First up, you prepare the ultra cleaning solution. He's connected the metal Joy-Con to a wire to run that constant voltage through it. It's so interesting, especially the way that it like bubbles and foams. Okay, so that was the first cleaning solution. Now it's in the green nickel solution. And now the next step is to dip it in the purple 24 karat gold solution. This is such a long and difficult process. I had no idea it was gonna be this much work. And you can see it get more and more gold coated. The more that he does it, the more he takes it out and the more he rinses it. Here's Boxy Pixel, by the way. Make sure to go check him out. I really appreciate everything they did. Okay, but now I promised you guys a gold switch. And right now we have gold Joy-Cons and a back plate. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build it together. So the back plate is actually for an original Switch model, not an OLED, which honestly I'm fine since I'm not gonna be able to play this thing anyway. I'm not gonna walk around with a gold switch everywhere I go. I'm also scared of like ruining it. So my plan is to display this thing anyway. And it's kind of cool to encapsulize the original switch in all of its glory. But that meant that I had to find an original switch. I have a couple OLED models spare, but I didn't have any original that hadn't been used. I wanted to use a new one. And after looking through all my collection, the only new one that I had was this uh, Mario Odyssey one. It did come with fun red Joy-Cons, but the actual switch is just a base model, we're gonna do that one. You know, it has been a long time since on this channel, we took apart a Switch and tried to do something custom. It never really worked out well for me in the past, so hopefully today goes better and I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> okay. Even as a joke bit, did you see I almost got my hair in the drill? I shouldn't be trusted. I'm gonna quickly take this opportunity since I have a minute to thank all of you for watching, supporting, being a part of this channel over the years. I never did a 10 year anniversary video. I really wanted to. That was May of last year. It's been such a joy making videos around the Switch this whole time. And I can't wait to make videos about whatever is next. Also, Speaking of cool things, there's only a week left to buy one of those guys. And I'd really appreciate it if you did, it's sick. You see the Joy-Cons here? They're see-through. So if you wanna have red Joy-Cons, make a raspberry drink. Blue Joy-Cons, make a blue drink. Now I'm gonna address the allegations and the rumors right now. Some of you might have already put two and two together and realized the front of the Switch isn't gonna be gold, it's gonna be black. The reason for that is, is twofold. Boxy Pixel doesn't have a metal plate for the front of the Switch. I think that's because it's too hard. Trying to get the front and the screen disconnected is such a pain. I think it's the same reason why pretty much all of the special editions Nintendo gave us, the front's just normal. There it is, there it is. There's writing on the inside of this. You see that? Let's see how much more this one weighs. <laughs> wow. 29.7 grams, 30 grams compared to 200 grams. This technically weighs a lot more than the Joy-Cons did. Well, not a lot more, being a little extreme. Whoa, this has made the Switch so heavy. Oh man, that's so cool though. You know what's harder than trying to screw in little mini screws with big fingers? Having to do it with gloves on. I might take them off. I can't grip this, the little screw. I keep losing it in the fabric of the glove. I'm gonna have to go in raw for a second. Five minutes and I got the first screw in. The process of putting it back together is gonna take a lot longer than the process of taking it apart. 
Oh, that only took five minutes. I promise. Actually, to be fair, I've only been recording for 45 minutes. Everything I've already said so far, including building a Switch. I've gotten good. I've gotten better in my old age. Okay, there it is. A gold Nintendo Switch. It is very heavy. This is the first time that all the pieces are gonna be connected together. I haven't seen the Joy-Cons on a Switch yet. Oh, now, oh, it looks so good on the back. Dude, that is like all gold. That is sick. Is it a little annoying that the front isn't also gold? Yes. Could we have figured that out? No, I tried. Will one of you watching have a solution? Maybe, let me know. I actually didn't mention this, but the D-pad is gold and the buttons are gold. I think these are just gold colored metal. And I actually love that. They look so cool. I'm so glad that he did the buttons and the D-pad in gold, but because he left the sticks and the other buttons all black, it actually works really well with the black screen in the middle. All of Nintendo's special editions left the front black, other than the one red switch for some reason. So if anything, my 24 karat real gold edition Switch is in line with Nintendo's own creations. That's what I'm telling myself. Can you smell the copium through the camera? Is it coming through nice and clearly? Okay, I've got to stick this thing on charge. Let me do a final weight tally actually of it. I don't have an original Switch near me to do a... Well, hold on, let's do this. Alexa, how much does a Nintendo Switch console weigh? The Nintendo Switch weighs 10.5 ounces. Alexa, what's 10.5 ounces in grams? 10.5 ounces is about 297.7 grams. The Nintendo Switch weighs 297 grams. My gold Nintendo Switch weighs 734.8 grams. Holy shit. <laughs> and it feels like it. It feels heavier than a Steam Deck. Okay, let me put it on charge. Okay, it's been like 10 minutes. This guy's still pretty much dead, but it turned on. I'm just gonna do the opening of Zelda on the gold Switch and never play it again. <laughs> I haven't played a original model Switch in so long. This bezel was so big. Just the first game being played on the first gold Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Man, this is just making me want to play Breath of the Wild again. And I assume at this point, as you're watching this, I just played through all of Wind Waker. <laughs> all right, this is the shot on the gold switch. Here we go. I'm just like looking in the monitor and smiling. It's so cool. A lot of you know that all of the cartridges, Wiimotes, controllers, the special edition Zelda stuff was always gold. To be playing Breath of the Wild now on an actual gold Nintendo Switch, I love my job. I love what I've created here. Also, I say I, I'm very aware that it was Boxy Pixel. This was a commissioned thing and I can't thank them enough. They did say they are never going to make a gold Switch again because it was such a pain in the ass. I apologize for that. But check Check out the other stuff they have in their metal plating. They have some really cool stuff. I don't want to play games on this thing. So my plan has always been to put it in one of my glass cases. I want to put it next to the ones in my main room here and next to the TV so I can see it while I play games and be proud of it. That was almost so satisfying and then it all got caught up at the end. And there's the gold Nintendo Switch, ready to live its life in a glass case in my house. This is something I really just wanted to do for me because as I said, growing up, I always wanted that gold Wii. I know it's never gonna happen. The best I could do was make my own gold Switch. And to be fair, someone just made the gold Wii. I don't think it was Nintendo. Who made the gold Wii? Oh, it was a gift from THQ. Yeah, so anybody can make it. I could give this to the queen and it would be the same as what what they did, what, ooh. <laughs> I could give it to the king, but I'm not. Cause I'm a king I, <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, like all of that stuff and I'll see you in the next video. A and until then, as I always say, stay golden.